Welcome, welcome. There are many outdated Bluehost review videos out there and you don't want to listen to old information. Since I want to bring only the most up-to-date reviews for you, I've decided to recheck everything and do an honest Bluehost review. To start this web hosting review, what even is Bluehost? Well, Bluehost Hosting first started its business 20 years ago and can be considered one of the best web hosting providers in general. It is focused on the US market while having different versions for India and China. More importantly, Bluehost is one of only free providers that are recommended by WordPress creators. So stick around for more on that later, but for now, I think the most noteworthy part for almost all of you is how much Bluehost will cost. And my quick overview, it's definitely not the cheapest shared hosting out there, but it makes up for it with extra features. For instance, the basic plan starts from as low as $3 a month, allowing you to host a single site with 10 gigabytes of storage space. I could even say the classic line, it's cheaper than a cup of coffee, etc, etc. However, that 10 gigabyte storage space limit makes this plan not the best choice for media-heavy sites or large portfolios. Of course, 10 gigabytes is more than enough for small projects or web stores, but I think the most value comes from the more expensive Bluehost plans. The choice plan improves that strict storage space, adds auto backups, and gives you a free domain for a year. The online store plan should be perfect for small stores allowing unlimited product listing and giving a whopping 100 gigabytes of SSD storage space. But for me, the star of the show has to be the main privacy that comes with every plan apart from the cheapest one. But what is domain privacy and how can it benefit you? It's like a fancy disguise for your online presence. Every domain needs to be registered with real information in a public database and using Whois Domain Lookup, everyone can see your email, phone number, etc. When you have domain privacy and someone looks up your domain, they'll only see Bluehost's credentials, not a bit of your personal data. Is it worth it, you ask? Well, it depends on the projects you're working on, but most of the time I'd say yeah, go for it. And since it is included with most Bluehost plans, it's a win-win situation. And hey, did you notice this? Look a little bit closer. Every Bluehost review 2023 editions failed to mention this. Bluehost, unlike most hosting providers, gives you cheaper pricing with shorter billing periods. What I mean by that is if you grab three or four years of Hostinger or another provider, you'll get the best pricing available. While with Bluehost, the best price is reversed, applying only for one year. On the one hand, this means it's a great provider for short-term projects. Grab hosting at a good price, and after that year, you can just not renew. On the other hand, for long-term projects, this means you'll start paying the renewal price after just one year. And talking about renewals, Bluehost is Okay at that, not the most aggressive, but prices increase around 3 or 4 times, so keep that in mind. However, what makes Bluehost pricing more affordable is using my exclusive discount deals in the description. You don't need to remember any Bluehost coupon code, just hit the link and everything will be auto-applied. While the price might not be the strongest Bluehost hosting aspect, ease of use and dashboard control definitely is. After working with Bluehost for multiple years now, I'm not gonna lie, it is probably my favorite dashboard. The reason for this is that it has a great custom dashboard that any beginner can use while also giving cPanel to more advanced users. I really like this checklist that helps new users to set everything up. And there are a few basic tools for business owners, like listing yourself on Google or ordering SEO optimizations. Looking at the custom Bluehost dashboard, it's really easy to use. Installing WordPress is very straightforward. All you need to do is click here 
enter your details and voila, you're ready to rock and roll. There is even a specialized Bluehost WordPress dashboard that lets you update or delete themes and plugins without logging into WordPress itself. You can also activate the coming soon page or create a staging website for testing without any extra plugins. No wonder why WordPress creators recommend Bluehost. For the more advanced users, the cPanel works exactly as you think it will. It's fast and allows complete control over every aspect of your hosting. But Bluehost cPanel isn't just a regular version of this dashboard. Bluehost simplified and made it look more modern by adding its own skin. And one thing that I really appreciate is no new tab or window opening when switching control panels. This makes working with both of them much smoother, at least for me. So the great thing about this overall Bluehost system is that a beginner can manage their site without ever needing to use cPanel and old school users don't need to learn a new simpler system. Let's dive deeper and look into performance. Look, I had my share of expensive hosting providers with absolutely abysmal times. And to give you at least some perspective, Google recommends loading a website fully in 2.5 seconds to get the best SEO results. And checking various sources, the average website loading speed can vary between 6 and 10 seconds. So I've built a WordPress website with a store, gallery, and all that good stuff, then tested it with GT metrics. Bluehost fully loaded this site in 1.9 seconds, which is a very good result overall. Looking at shared hosting generally, this 1.9 second result isn't perfect. Providers like Hostinger or GoDaddy can be a bit faster. But Bluehost comes with a caching plugin and a free content delivery network. This means that I can replicate my site on various servers around the world and improve my global loading speeds. And the caching plugin allows you to optimize your website content further. So is Bluehost good for small business? Yeah, with loading times below the two second mark, it's great for business and SEO. Okay, continuing my Bluehost review. Is it really that good at security since it seems to be oriented more towards business sites? Overall, it's quite a good package, but not perfect. Bluehost shared hosting includes robust DDoS protection, automatic backups, free SSL certificates, malware scanning, and firewalls. In addition to this, Bluehost provides a reliable and secure hosting environment that includes robust server infrastructure and routine security updates. If that's not enough, Bluehost Web Hosting offers a security add-on called SiteLock Security. This add-on actively monitors your website and prevents malware from compromising its integrity. While the overall package is good, the cheapest plan lacks any automatic backups, which a lot of other providers can offer. And I'm not the biggest fan of keeping important security features behind expensive extra add-ons. But before we summarize the best Bluehost review you've seen, yes, I'm very humble, why not like this video and subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel for more videos like this? I'm always trying to bring you the most up-to-date info, so every like keeps that mood up. To conclude my Bluehost review, is Bluehost good for a modern website? Actually, yeah, it is a bit pricier and some providers can give you more resources for your money. But Bluehost has excellent performance, a plethora of useful features, probably the best user-friendly dashboard, and a wide range of tools specifically tailored to the best web hosting for WordPress. Well, that's all for me, folks. If you have questions or suggestions, don't be shy and leave a comment down below. You can find more videos on WordPress hosting or check out the Bluehost WordPress tutorial by subscribing. Don't forget those discount deals in the description and I will see you all next time.